I'm gonna be honest, I really like this hand. We can go Trog into Beaming Sidekick immediately, and then follow it up with Crooked Cook, and then do enough damage every turn to just draw extra cards. And so the soil isn't bad. We can get a 2-2, which isn't the worst thing in the world. In fact, what we could do, actually, is we could get a 2-2 and play the Trog, depending on what he does turn one, and then play, so nothing turn one. Interesting. Peasant coin beaming sidekick pump him up make him very hard to kill play crooked cook next turn to help me draw cards Maybe taking out composting isn't a terrible idea if crooked cook can be consistent enough draw. We'll see though That's fine. I don't care about great hall. None of my guys are really gonna be that big Yeah, we're just gonna draw tons of cards and dump one drops boom We'll draw an extra card off of this End of my turn, draw a card, perfect, bada bing bada boom. We don't need to play Jerry Rig yet, we can literally just keep playing one drops and pumping the board. But one drop, one drop, pump up everything plus one attack. We're gonna have to go trade, trade, but then this can go face. So, okay, interesting. We play the Trog, Beaming Sidekick goes on other Beaming Sidekick, and then we give everything plus one attack, and then two of these go here. Three still goes face, and we draw yet another card. And we got Aquatic Form to draw even more, and we can play Composting really soon, too. This is going so well. I mean, if he runs Consecrate, fuck me, I guess. But um, hopefully he's not. Hey, guard, everybody just got back from work. Slept, like, three hours in the last 48 hours, so I won't be here long. But wanted to have five minutes on my phone. Well, for, dude, no problem, my guy. 100% go to sleep you need to be healthy man at the end of the day health is the most important thing do i want to go pride's fury or do i want to go herald of nature these are the two these are the questions you have to ask yourself and i'm pretty sure i want to go herald of nature so we're gonna go plant evidence and then herald of nature um ooh. then dredge that to the bottom we could go that and pride's fury next turn we could literally just like win the game next no wait because that costs zero yeah, yeah this costs zero then we'll go Pump everything up. This goes here. These all go face. And then next turn, we get to play Pride's Fury and Sunken Gardens, assuming he doesn't wipe my board. And if he wipes my board, well, that, that'll suck. But he has to have, like, a... No. I do get a Trog, I guess, which is cool. And then I get that, which I guess is fine. That was bad. On the bright side, we can still get Sunken Gardens. We can go Dredge, Sunken Gardens, and then like this composting. No, I think I'm gonna go Jerry Rig, Druid, composting. Sure, we'll do this instead. We get Living Roots. If I go, boom, composting, and then Dredge this to the top. So I don't draw a card, but I get to draw. I don't know. Maybe that was bad. I should have probably just saved it. It's it, it was probably not the wisest choice. He can't play Carriel for another two turns. So I mean, I think I'm at least fairly okay in that regard. That equality city tax really got me though. I did not expect it at all. I think we win the game this turn though. We can pump up with Pride's Fury as well as the other thing. I think we win the game. Yeah, that that equality consecrate was kind of nuts. I respect it though. That was that was a good play. Um, doesn't really matter. Zero cost light ray. Okay. Makes that a 3-3. Three, three. So basically we want to give this rush, pump it up, trade this in a 1-1 one, one in, and then these four can all go face. Actually, what we could do instead... No, we want to... We need to go Pride's Fury. But then I think instead of going Sunken Garden, we go Grasping Roots. And then we kill this off and go face with the rest. All we need is to have a couple of minions survive and we should be good to go. Also, this deck doesn't run the squirrel, which I realize, and I feel like I want to run the squirrel in this deck to constantly be able to refill my board. But I think if we're drawing enough cards, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. He, he can't play Cariel for another turn. Equality, Consecrate, or whatever would still allow me to draw a lot of cards. I'm quite upset by this, I'm gonna be honest. Oh. Equality, a bunch of trades, that's fine actually. So far, we're good to go, we still have lethal for sure. Still potentially have lethal. 
that makes it much more difficult. <laughs> um, but not impossible. How much damage can I put out? Assuming we can kill this with one minion, because we have this rush dude as well. We can go rush, pump, pump, so we can basically make... How much damage do we have here? Boom, plus boom. So this is plus one, plus one. This is plus one, plus one. So this trades in. We know we know this, this, this trades in. Um, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, yeah, that's just lethal, right? A three, one shark. Discover a spell. I mean, gardens is fine. It doesn't really do anything at this point. We could go with another composting. No, we'll go with another gardens. It's fine. It really doesn't matter. Then we pump. No, wait. Let's let's just do this first. It doesn't really matter. Then we go pump up plus one plus two. Then this pumps up everything. This goes here, and then we have fourteen damage to go face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Dude, this deck is just able to constantly pump shit out. Oh my god. One of my favorite starts to the deck, though, is having a one-drop into beaming sidekick and then being able to play Pride's Fury on turn four. Like, this hand is good. Don't get me wrong. Play keeping Pride's Fury is arguably pretty bad, but against a Druid, when you already know you're going to be able to flood the board, it is good. In fact, what I could do is I could go Druid of the Reef, Next turn, this, this, and then the following turn, point out Pride's Fury for what is most likely four pretty decent minions. And then we have a lot of damage on board right there. And then from there, we just do what we can, I guess. Aquatic Form, we can play that whenever. So the question is, do I want to coin this out and get an extra minion on the board now? Or do I want to save the coin for Pride's Fury? I think I want to save the coin for Pride's Fury. We might play Dredge. We might play Aquatic Form to see if we can find anything different. Most of the cards in my deck are two drops, so I mean, we'll be able to get something. And there's a world where if I find Composting, I'll play Composting before Pride's Fury. Okay, well, we drew Composting. That's sick. Herald of Nature. The other Composting's at the bottom, which is pretty bad, I want to say. And the fact that it's at the bottom does suck, but we are going to be able to draw a lot of cards off of this composting if he doesn't have silence. I think Thorn Growth Centuries is best. And then we go boom, coin, two one ones. Go face. Next turn we go beaming, composting. Next turn we go prides. And then, yeah, we're very susceptible to a silence with the starfish, but they usually only run one copy. I wouldn't assume they kept it in their opening hand, so two of these cards are probably not it. And, yeah, that's where I'm at right now, personally, in terms of, like, where I think things are. Oh? He got Grasping Roots? That's weird. I'm a little bit bummed, actually. Hit. We'll get two... One ones and then go composting. If he has silence, that sucks, but if he uses silence now, I follow up with Pride's Fury. And he didn't have a wild growth ramp right off the bat, which means he's set behind at least a little bit, which is good for me. That is so much draw. I'm so excited for potentially like popping up here. I'm really just hoping he doesn't have Starfish. But I think we have to kind of commit to the board with the uh, Pride's Fury. 2 one, 1 trance? I really do not care that much about that. I'm gonna be totally honest. Oh, part of me wants to trade in because I want to play around Starfish, but the other part of me is like, if he has Starfish, he wins the game anyway. So I need to just go full face here. Like, if he has Starfish, I've committed so much to the board now that I lose the game anyway. So there's no reason to trade and draw like two cards and lose pressure on board. Okay, I draw a card. That's sick. We love to see it. That's a pretty decent card, honestly. I mean, I'm down. Um, Flipper friends. Oh, he goes with the taunt one. Interesting. I didn't expect that. We go with rush, which is pretty good. Actually, technically, we should trade here first. Because we know we're going to send that in, probably. We get a beaming sidekick. It's not huge or anything, but... Trade, hero power, hit. To keep some extra minions alive. 
And then I kind of want to go Peasant and then Beaming Sidekick on the Peasant. No, what we could do is we could go Trog Beaming Sidekick. We go Trog Beaming Sidekick. That way if he plays the spell, we get value out of this. And we get to keep a couple of things in hand, which is nice. So basically he's going to play Scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three of these things live. We draw like three cards and then we regain the board. And he's already played a Flipper Friends for like the rush protection and all that. Oh, that's potentially very bad. That is quite bad, I think, actually. Let's, um, draw a card. We get Crooked Cook. That'll draw me a card. We have to trade in a little bit because we can't, we couldn't win. We didn't have damage to win. So we're basically just trying to, dude, these were such garbage draws. Um, okay. We play Crooked Cook for card draw. We play Peasant. And then we pump this up a little bit, and then we hero power and go face. I was really hoping to find Sow the Soil, Herald of Nature, or another Pride's Fury. I think he wins the game here, actually. We found Sow the Soil, but it's a little bit too late, I think. I genuinely think it's just, like, a little bit too late. Then again, he's already played a couple of cheap nature spells, so there's a world where he doesn't get that many things off of Topier. But he's probably going to get a good chunk of things. Yeah. We have Sow the Soil. We're pretty close. We didn't have Lethal. I was trying to... If I had gone full face and left the 5-5, five five, would that have been better? I could have kept three minions alive, but I wanted to make space to play different cards so I could draw more. Wild Growth? Oh. Uh... Okay. Neither of his things die, unfortunately. I'm really hoping he doesn't have that many more things. Like, if if just a couple of minions live, I think we win still. So we want, like, th four minions to live, and we can win. Got you. Come on. Draw me better cards. Herald, Pride's Fury, Sow the Soil, Aquatic Form, Planted Evidence. There's so many good cards that I could get here. Oh, we're not going to win. No, wait, we get Trogs, though. We get Trogs, though. Never mind, we do win, right? Well, that's not even necessarily true. Because he kills off that minion and he gained an armor. But I can give you the deck code in one second. Here you go. That's seven. That is enough damage to win the game. Thank you, Trogs. GG. This hand is actually really good. Turn one, turn two, Herald of Nature to pump up even just like two or three things is pretty good tempo early on. And if the Demon Hunter is going quest and is playing kind of slow, we can very easily like take advantage of that. So the soil is pretty cool too. We're gonna go taunt so it doesn't die as easily. And then boom. And then it really depends. If we draw like three one drops, we could go like one drop, one drop, one drop, and then play Herald of Nature the following turn. There are a couple of different ways we could do this. We could also go Sow the Soil composting and then play Herald of Nature again, like, one turn later. And we'll see what happens. Composting might be the way we win, though. Because I think we might run out of steam against a Demon Hunter who is able to draw a ton of cards and has 40 HP. So that's fine. My favorite food? Probably sushi. I absolutely love sushi. It is delicious. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? I get a peasant. Low key peasant into composting is pretty good. Gives me a lot of potential draw. Why did he get it to two? That could be like a fell barrage, so it doesn't hit this twice. In which case, maybe this is better. Yeah, I think we do that. We don't pump up quite as many minions as I would like, but I think the added pressure is just huge. It soaks up two shots from a fell barrage, then we go peasant, sow the soil, and composting next turn. And then we just have to hope he doesn't have a starfish, basically. But yeah, I think this starts really good. Like, again, we played around Fell Barrage pretty well. Okay, fine with that. We can actually trade into that if I want. Coin into Multi-Strike to hit twice. He draws two cards, which is kind of a bummer. I will admit, that's kind of bad. But he does take four damage. I just didn't expect him to be able to kill off. Well, I expected him to kill off maybe the 3-3, three, three, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, wow. He actually was able to do that to finish that quest. That's pretty good, actually. Do I want to go Thorn Growth Sentries composting? Or do I want to go Peasant composting? Or Peasant Sow the Soil composting? I think I want to save Sow the Soil. 
I actually do. Saving so the soil, I think, is very important because it allows for burst. So if I'm able to play it for plus one, plus one attack, it's better than playing it for a 2-2 minion. You play it for a 2-2 minion turn one, like if you have to, but most of the time, I don't think you should. Fell Barrage kills off both of the one twos and it's reduced cost, but we draw a ton of minions or cards. And I think we can um, snowball the board from here. Whoa, wait. Wow! Wait, this guy's going crazy! What the fudge? Oh my word! That's pretty good, actually. What the heck? No way of fell barrage two, and I can't kill your two three. Oh my god! This guy's crazy! Holy crap! Wait, that's actually really good for him. What do I want here? Jerry rigs some more draw, I guess, which is decent. I mean, it's free. We'll save the other one, though. So I want to go Trog and then pump up the Trog a ridiculous amount so he can, like, flood the board, I think. Huh. <laughs> How crazy would that be? We can go, um, this, draw two, and then go Trog. I did not want it to be Living Roots. That's a bit of a bummer. Then pump up, pump up. I was really hoping that it would not be that. I was really hoping it would be the other thing. But we had we have sowed the soil in hand already, so I guess it doesn't make sense to get that. But that 2-3 Naga kind of went crazy. That's insane, actually. No, I'm not even kidding. That was super good. Okay, we can kill that off. We're actually in a great spot now. Okay, cool. GG. Deal 2 to kill that off, because we need to. Then we go, um... Peasant, this, pump everything up. Leave one spot open for a potential Trog to expand. We still got an aquatic form in order to find something. Maybe we can find Crooked Cook next turn to continue the draw. I have to admit though, this guy's deck was pretty cool. Like, that was sick. He can't kill the 2-8 unless he wants to hero power again, which is good for me. That's fine, I'm fine with that. What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? We get living roots. Um, okay. We're gonna go aquatic form, see what we get. We get crooked cook, which means we kind of have to play him to draw cards. I'm gonna hero power hit one. We don't have lethal, unfortunately. I'm down to take seven. I don't really care that much. Sadly, deal two. And then... I mean, as much as I hate to do this... No, nah, we'll just do this, actually. We'll save the trog just in case. Just in case something happens and I want a way to, like, try to kind of regain the board. Jerry Ray Carpenter gets me, hopefully, sow the soil, assuming I don't accidentally draw it next turn, which could threaten lethal. We get an extra trog. This is why I wanted to save some extra space, because I felt like we were going to get some trogs anyway. Need for greed. Keep drawing. Top three decks so far after the update. Um, statistically, this is actually, I think, third. Statistically, like, based on just the win percentage. But the sample size is pretty low. But your boy's trying to bring up that sample size so people people respect the deck more. And this deck has, like, a 55% win rate. Quest Hunter is at 56. And then Big Spell Mage is at 56. And then Naga Priest is at 54, which is pretty interesting. Double activate the, uh, deal damage isn't the worst thing in the world. Wow, you actually hit the Trog twice. And then you get to play another one? Yeah, he's just done. Okay, cool. Keep this entire thing. Um, I think that we'll be able to get to Iron Deep Trog if he plays spells especially, and we can play Pride's Fury on a pretty wide board. I mean, I don't know. Odds, odds of him drawing the cards, especially in like 40 card decks, and then, I don't know. I see you. It's been pretty unlucky. Also, one of the losses I queued up is the wrong deck, so I just insta conceded which is fine where are the acorns i don't think the acorns are really as good in this deck they die pretty quickly you could have them instead of the plant evidence or the jerry rig carpenter i just don't want to we're pumping up the trog so he can't play spells we want the board to flood <coughs> and then play pride's fury um what was i saying yeah the acorns like what do you take out for the acorns crooked cook you need for draw jerry rig carpenter gets you some cheap nature spells which are good you could take out Plant ev planted evidence, but that's actually saved me in multiple different situations. And then everything else is just good token generators. I mean, I want to put in the acorns, and if you don't have one of these cards, or you want to take out Jerry Reed Carpenter, I think that is the most likely card you can take out. I just like Jerry Reed Carpenter because, like, if I can get 
to sow the soils and I can get a plus one attack to all my minions and a 2-2 two -two treant, that's pretty good. Or I get living roots and I can summon two little dudes and then also deal two damage to kill off like a token or something, that's also pretty good. Also, that's true, acorns aren't instant pressure. Like, yeah, you can keep like coming back on the board, but having that instant pressure or card draw, I think is more important, but that's just me. Planted evidence is so versatile, I love it. Exactly, I love it as well. It is very versatile. Um, I think we're just gonna flood the board some more with that and Peasant. I'm pretty sure he just left the game because he's like, I can't play around the Trog. Denathries for alternate win condition late game? No, it's too slow. If I end up drawing him, it feels really bad, man. Wild Growth, they get an extra Trog. Love to see it. We're gonna go uh, Plant Evidence. Unless we get Composting. We'll go um Aquatic Form. I mean, we'll play it. See what we draw, I guess. Oh! Maybe I don't actually want to, like, actively draw a card here. Maybe Pride's Fury to go pump into pump is good, especially considering we're going to have a big board pump. But what if he silences and we don't get the draw? We'll take Jerry Ray Carpenter. And we'll go composting. That way, if he has the Starfish, we have at least one other thing here that can draw cards, I guess. This deck is a good budget deck. Oh, it's a very good budget deck. Oh, it's been doing very well. Like I said, the deck is, I think, 3-2, and two, and the losses were, like... The most insane BS I've ever seen. Like, they had to have high rolled really, really well in order to have won that game. So, I don't actually have a problem losing some. I mean, obviously, it sucks. And I have a little bit of a problem losing those games. But I could easily... If, if we had drawn slightly differently, this deck easily, easily is a... Um, is like a 5-1 deck right now easily a five in one deck if like i drew one or two different cards or didn't have two prides furies in my opening hand in one of the games like it's a very good deck and it has the highest win rate right now second highest win rate in legend see i knew he was gonna do that which is why the composting play and not over committing to that made sense to me we got so the soil so aquatic form to get Pride's Fury again. <laughs> oh, this poor guy is going to get absolutely just thrashed. Plus one attack. Is that just lethal? That's 21 damage exactly, right? Oh, no, because he had two attack. Like, look at this. We're ending games turn five with massive boards on repeat. Like, it's so good. 